this section, I want to say you have to handle um, one more element type on mobile screen. Uh, it is a uh, drop down element. So drop down elements on mobile screen is a little, you know, different with the web. And uh, we need to try around to see how to handle it. Uh, let me try to start some things first. So first thing we need to start RPM desktop to inspect the target element that we want to interact. And by the way, sorry for any background noise around because I'm uh, sitting in the garden. So maybe there will be some background and uh, background noise around. Okay. So, okay, I want to start the RPM desktop and the server should be stuck on the box 4725 like before. Now I start the inspector. <laughs> Let's see whether we have any communication between the inspector and the RPM uh, server to try to launch the target application. Uh, here, it will start after we select the capability and start the session here. Make sure that you start the remote port on the 4725. Okay, this is the uh, the box for the target uh, server that's appium inspector trying to communicate it's different with the box that we are using in our test script you see i just love seeing the log from appium server because the more i read it the more i can understand what's going on under the hood Yeah, I'm seeing it trying to use some IDP command to communicate with the bootstrap on the device and we are almost there. Here we go. Okay, it did a device screen. Let me try to manually uh, open it and then I will go to uh, the form and then I refresh the source here. So what I want to handle that I want to handle the drop down uh, down here. Okay. So let me try to inspect the drop down first. So this one let me, maybe I need to scroll up a little. Let me try to refresh the source again. And then we can see easier. So here, this is the drop down. Okay. So to handle drop down, that we need to click on the drop down here first, and then we will select uh, what is inside. Let me try to click here, uh, and then I will give the tab from Appium Desktop. If you try to interact with the application, and then refresh the new screen, the latest screen on the mobile app as well. So after I click on that, you can see we have several options here. Uh, so, for example, I want to select the first one here. So that means I want to get the uh, attribute inside. So in this case, we have uh, the tag here, and we also have resource ID here. So I think I can use the uh, shook the resource ID here. Okay. So let's go back to our IDE and then create a new class. In this case, I will name it as a handle drop down enter. So in this one, I will create a main method inside and then I will create a new RPM driver instance with the type inside is mobile element, okay? And then this is the appium driver, and then I will get it from uh, the utility class appium extended dot get appium driver. So let me try to list out the step. Uh, here we need to uh, set up the session uh, between the uh, client and the appium server. Okay. So after we set up here, we need to uh, go to forms. After we go to forms, uh, we will click on 
the drop down uh, drop down we call it drop down element okay and then I want to select the select the the, the first the first option okay from the drop down option now after that I want to get uh, the text uh, display on drop down okay to see um, whether we select successfully the option from the drop down or not Okay, so go to the form here. I will specify a new mobile element here. And it should be something like form slate for like before. And in this case, I will view appium driver dot uh, five element by accessibility ID. And I do still remember the value is forms. So after that, I will click on the drop down element. So in this case, I go back to uh, try to click outside and then I can refresh the research here so this is the I think we need to click here uh, and the contents description is select drop down uh, we don't have ID we just have accessibility ID for iOS and the research Contain description here. So I you click on it by specify a new one, mobile element. You can do it directly uh, after you find the element or you can declare. So just want to make it easier. I just want to declare it first and then I will use the idea to interact with it. Okay, so this is drop down um, menu element. equal uh, appium driver and now I will find uh, element by using accessibility ID again in this case I take this one so after we go here we find out the form label so I will use the form label and then I will click after this step I want to use drop down menu element and then I will Call the click ID again here. So I want to select the first option here. So let me try to click uh, tap on it first. Where the tap button? Yeah, this one. So it will refresh the new one. In this case, I will use the resource ID again here, and then I will click on the first option. Okay. Uh, you see? Oh, they have the same resource ID here. You see? They have the same issue ID. So in this case, I think we can use expect a value in this case, and the attribute is tag. Okay, so just go back here. And the mobile application in this case is the first option. Uh, equal appium driver, or uh, I put something like expect here. So why element by it back here? And then I put the value inside. After that, I view the first option or click again. So that's when I want to select the first option. Click on the drop down menu, click on the first option. And for example, I tap here and I let's see what will be changed on the app. So on the app now, uh, uh, something wrong. Let me do it manually. Mm. Mm. This seems there is something wrong from this demo app because as I remember before, uh, I think I think it should fetch it. It should fetch the latest option from drop down menu. But now it seems there is a bug from the demo application. But anyway, we can observe uh, ourselves instead of getting any value out. Okay. So in this case, uh, let me try to add a thrust slip here uh, just for the work purpose that I want to waste around of three seconds. 
to see uh, whether we did it or not. Okay, so let me try to add to a try cache block because I don't want to throw an exception here on the method. So I just put a catch here and then I catch some exception uh, in zero here. Just put it here. Okay, I do not do anything in the catch here. So now, before running this test script, we need to make sure that we open the IBM server on the port 4723, okay? And now you go back to the main method here, you click here, and then you run it. Because if you click on the runs button here, and you if you don't change anything, it will get the previous one and run this for you. So now we click here and we run here. <clears throat> and let me try to open the visor app. Uh, for you and then you can see what's going on on the device here so this is the uh, previous screen it's not the one that we are going to use right now because the IBM server is still trying to communicate with the bootstrap on the device. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's now trying to start some socket. And then it's run the target, click on the form. And then you see, uh, it seems you see we got something related to, uh, oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, we can do something like this, okay. Uh, my best. So it should be uh, double slash star uh, as that equal uh, this value. Okay. Now we run it again. So this time I can click on the runs button here because it's already remember the new option here. So I read, uh, I click on it. Now go back to the server to observe uh, what's going on again. Uh, go back to the visor app here. Okay, click on the form, click drop down, click the first one. You see, it's click the first option. Okay, and finally, the test is uh, is definitely here with the exit code is zero. So, just summarize a little. So the way you handle the drop down menu on the mobile element is a little different uh, from the web. So actually you need to click on the drop down and then you specify the, the selector value for the option and then you just click on the option. Okay. Uh, I think these are all for this lesson. Bye for now and see you in the next lesson. Okay.